Hey Siri, how does a blind person use a computer? Here's what I found on the web for how does a blind person computer. Have a look. I would, if I could see. Hey, James Rath here, and today I am going to answer that very question, how does a blind person or someone with legal blindness or visual impairments use a computer on a Mac? because that's all I use. Before you give me crap on the machine that I use in the operating system, I do use Windows. I just bought my first Windows machine that I've had in like a decade, but I do still struggle to see on it. It's 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 kind of a nightmare for me to kind of use. I'm just not the biggest fan of, of Windows' magnifier compared to Apple Zoom. And it's, it's a world of a difference for me. If you use one or the other, for whatever reason, that's totally your call. So to find the accessibility options that I use on a Mac, I go to System Preferences, Accessibility, and then there is VoiceOver, which is great for people who are totally blind, or people who are legally blind with almost absolutely no sight. Due to the Mac's high resolution display, I prefer to use Zoom. Being close enough, it allows me to actually make out things within very close range of my eyes, and uh, Zoom just works so well on a Mac. Secondly, to make the colors pop a little bit better and flatten things out, I use increased contrast in the display settings. So in the accessibility settings, I go to speech and I enable a hotkey, which is control A for me. You can change it to whatever you may like. And I change it to the Samantha voice to read aloud articles or anything I really need that's highlightable text on my Mac. Personally, I like to set it as the Samantha voice because that's Siri's voice and I can make it say whatever I want. Hello there, James. You're looking mighty handsome today. So behind the camera, we have Elijah, who will be giving me some tasks on uh, what I should try on a computer that, you know, his his eyes at sight do. 2020 vision, baby. 2300 here. That probably looked <laughs> awful. Zoom in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Elijah, what is the first task you'd like me to try? Uh, first task is emailing somebody. You want me to send an email? All right. Let's do it. So we're gonna be composing a new email. New message, Elijah Pasek, subject. Hey, you've got mail. Hey, you've got mail. Cool, and we can have this read to us. Hello, Elijah. This is an email that I'm typing because dictation is downloading. I learned to type on type to learn three. Remember that? Love, James. Perfect, and we can just send. Send. Second task, how do you read a news article? Ah. I know a great source that is fair and balanced. Fox News. No, I'm just kidding, but here's a great article from the Casey Neistat Network. .cnn.com This is a great article here. What I do is I highlight the text here. Command A. Filmmaker James there Rath we go, says Apple saved his life. Born legally blind, the 20-year-old Rath says he was severely bullied as a child and had difficulty learning. He attempted suicide when he was 11 well, years old. Well, that got old. dark. It Let's keep this uh, <laughs> uplifting, shall we? Uh, you can check out the article for yourself. Apple saved my life, show reader. All right, James, task number three. How do you watch YouTube videos? How do I listen to a YouTube video? No, I'm just kidding. To watch a YouTube video, I have the best experience on desktop because, frankly, I can't see the screen that's on my phone. So. I will use the 5K display iMac to typically watch my videos. And if there's any details I'm kind of missing or just really need to zoom up on, I can pause and then just zoom in and it's, it's, uh, it's a good time. It's dandy, it's fine. Let's check out a cool YouTuber here who uh, we can uh, watch their videos, shall we? People, people so sometimes I zoom into videos so I can kind of just see the great. Ooh, so I got that to be boy. on set for the show Liza On Demand, a YouTube red show. This is how Elijah feels right now. That I'm watching this video. True. Now a question that people ask me all the time in the comments is how do I respond to comments? How do I, who, who is responding to them? Yes, I have a manager who has access to my YouTube channel, but I do respond to comments on desktop and I just have my Mac read it text to speech and uh, then I can just respond back to you whether I'm using dictation or just uh, typing because I can type. Task number four, how do you use Twitter? So Twitter, I oftentimes will just, if, I can make out someone's icon, which I can really only do when I'm zoomed in. Uh, oftentimes though, I'm really just seeing the color and I try to familiarize myself with different people's Twitter accounts based on like just the colors that consist in their icon. So if you change your icon on Twitter, I probably will just overlook it and, and ignore it until I actually realize, oh, hey, that's Elijah Pizik who keeps changing his damn profile picture. 
Sorry, I just I had to get that off my chest. I'm I've been, sorry, man. I had to get that off my chest. It's you keep changing it. I keep forgetting who, where your tweets are. And anyway, so with Twitter on desktop, I just kind of scroll through. If there's something that does catch my eye, then I will have my Mac read such thing. Otherwise, I usually just skip their tweets. Breaking at age 96, actress Betty White, known for her role as Rose Newland on Golden Girls, woke up peacefully in her Los Angeles home this morning. What are you doing? I did not put it there. Did you do that? I did. Oh, when did you touch me? When I asked, hey, can I touch your body? I don't remember that. When did the microphone go? You seriously, though, you put it down there? I didn't do that? You're kidding. I genuinely was not paying attention. Well, there is our end card. <laughs> blooper. 